Have you ever pondered what truly is philosophy and what tools does it use to unravel the mysteries of existence? This question leads us into the profound depths of philosophy, a discipline that has been the cornerstone of human thought for millennia. Philosophy derived from the Greek words philo meaning love and sophia meaning wisdom, is indeed the love of wisdom. It is an expansive field that seeks to answer some of the most fundamental questions about our existence. What is reality? How do we acquire knowledge? What are our ethical duties? What is the nature of the mind? These are just a few of the questions that philosophy attempts to answer, using a unique approach known as the philosophical method. This method, a tool of inquiry, is central to the practice of philosophy. It is the lens through which philosophers examine and interpret the world around them. To understand philosophy, we must first delve into its heart. The philosophical method. The philosophical method, like philosophy itself, has roots deep in the cradle of civilization. It's a journey that begins in the intellectual hub of ancient Greece, where thinkers began to question the world around them in new and profound ways. The birth of the philosophical method is often attributed to these curious minds who dared to challenge the status quo and pursue a deeper understanding of life and existence. One such mind was Socrates, a figure synonymous with philosophy, who pioneered an early form of philosophical inquiry known as the Socratic method. This method is characterized by a dialogue between individuals, where one person poses a question and the other responds, leading to further questions and deeper insights. The Socratic method encourages critical thinking, stimulating intellectual curiosity, and fostering a spirit of inquiry. But the philosophical method didn't stop evolving with Socrates. As centuries passed, it absorbed elements from other disciplines, enriching its framework and broadening its scope. Logic, for instance, became an integral part of the method, offering a structured approach to reasoning and argument. Rhetoric, too, played a role, enhancing the art of persuasion and communication within philosophical discourse. As we trace the evolution of the philosophical method, we see a remarkable journey of intellectual exploration. From the dialogues of Socrates to the logical structures of Aristotle, from the meditations of Descartes to the critiques of Kant, the method has been a dynamic, adaptable tool in the hands of philosophers. It has served as a compass, guiding them through the labyrinth of ideas, aiding them in their quest for truth, and helping them articulate their insights in a coherent and compelling manner. From its embryonic stage in ancient Greece, to its maturity in the modern era, the philosophical method has been an evolving tool in the hands of philosophers. It's a testament to humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding, a beacon that continues to illuminate the path of intellectual discovery. As philosophy evolved, so did its methods. Welcome to the modern philosophical method. In this era, philosophy has adopted a more systematic approach. The modern philosophical method is now characterized by three key tools, critical thinking, logical analysis, and conceptual clarification. Let's delve into each of these a bit more. Critical thinking, first and foremost, is the ability to question. It's about challenging the status quo, the assumptions, and the accepted norms. It's about asking why and how, and not settling for the just because. Philosophers use this tool to dig deeper into the roots of our beliefs and to peel back the layers of our understanding. Next up is logical analysis. This involves dissecting arguments, examining their structure, and evaluating their validity. It's about identifying fallacies, spotting inconsistencies, and challenging faulty reasoning. Through logical analysis, philosophers seek to ensure that our beliefs are not just deeply held, but also logically sound. And finally, we have conceptual clarification. This is about defining and refining our understanding of concepts. It's about exploring the different facets of an idea, untangling its complexities and breaking it down into its most basic elements. This tool helps philosophers to clear up ambiguities and to bring more precision to our thinking. Together, these tools form the backbone of the modern philosophical method. They enable philosophers to question assumptions, clarify concepts, and explore possible solutions to philosophical problems. They help us to navigate the labyrinth of our thoughts, to make sense of the chaos and to find our way to clarity. But, the beauty of the modern philosophical method is that it's not confined to the realm of philosophy. It can be applied in any area of life where there's a need for deeper understanding, clearer thinking, and smarter decision-making. From science to politics, from business to personal growth, the modern philosophical method can be a powerful ally in our quest for understanding. 
The modern philosophical method is not just a tool for philosophers, but a powerful ally in our quest for understanding. Now that we understand what the philosophical method is, let's see it in action. Our first example takes us deep into the realm of metaphysics where philosophers ponder the nature of reality. To explore this question, philosophers use the philosophical method to challenge assumptions and delve into the abstract. They might begin by defining what they mean by reality. Is it the physical world we perceive with our senses? Or could it also include non-physical entities like thoughts, emotions, or even mathematical concepts? They would then critically analyze these definitions, question their validity, and argue for their preferred interpretation. Now let's switch gears to a more existential question. What is the meaning of life? This is a classic question in philosophy and one that illustrates the philosophical method beautifully. Philosophers might start by questioning what we mean by meaning. Are we asking about the purpose of life, a sense of fulfillment or something else entirely? They would then explore various perspectives including religious, scientific and existentialist views, rigorously examining each for logical consistency and coherence. Then there's the ethical dilemma which offers another common application of the philosophical method. Let's say you're faced with a moral decision. Should you lie to protect a friend's feelings? In this case, philosophers might use the method to analyze the ethical principles at play. They could weigh honesty against empathy, explore the potential consequences of each action, and consider various ethical theories such as consequentialism, which judges actions by their outcomes, or deontology, which emphasizes duty and rules. Finally, let's look at a political philosophy question. What is the ideal form of government? Here, philosophers might employ the method to scrutinize different political systems, their advantages, and drawbacks. They could dissect concepts like democracy, socialism, or monarchy, investigating their implications for justice, freedom, and equality. Whether tackling profound existential questions or everyday ethical dilemmas, the philosophical method guides us towards clarity and understanding. What value does the philosophical method hold in our lives, you may ask? Well, it's a question that deserves a thoughtful answer. The philosophical method isn't just a tool for professional philosophers, it's a catalyst for anyone who wants to engage with the world in a more meaningful, thoughtful way. Imagine for a moment that you're faced with a complex issue. It could be a personal dilemma, a political debate, a moral quandary, or an existential question. How do you approach it? The philosophical method gives us a roadmap. It invites us to break down the issue, to question our assumptions, to consider different perspectives, and to engage in rational, logical analysis. It's like a mental gym that cultivates our critical thinking skills. But the philosophical method isn't just about thinking hard, it's also about thinking openly. It fosters a sense of open-mindedness, a willingness to entertain new ideas, and a readiness to revise our beliefs in the face of compelling evidence. It encourages us to be humble, to recognize the limits of our knowledge, and to appreciate the value of doubt and uncertainty. It's a way of being in the world that cherishes curiosity, wonder, and intellectual courage. And there's a social dimension to all of this. The philosophical method isn't a solitary pursuit, it thrives on dialogue, on the exchange of ideas, on the mutual pursuit of understanding. It promotes a culture of intellectual humility and respectful disagreement. It helps us to navigate complex issues not only as individual thinkers but also as members of a community. So the next time you're faced with a complex issue, remember this. The philosophical method isn't just a tool for philosophers, it's a resource for all of us. It's a way of engaging with the world that honors the complexity of our lives and the richness of our shared human experience. In a world that often prefers easy answers to hard questions, the philosophical method is a beacon of intellectual courage and curiosity. So, we've journeyed from ancient Greece to the present, exploring the philosophical method along the way. We've seen how this method, born in the minds of thinkers like Socrates, Plato and Aristotle, has evolved over centuries adapting to the changing needs of human inquiry. This evolution brought us to the modern philosophical method, a refined tool that allows us to probe the depths of existence, reality, and knowledge. We've learned that the philosophical method isn't just about answering life's big questions. It's about questioning our assumptions, challenging our beliefs, and seeking understanding. Through examples, we've seen the potency of this method in action, revealing its value in our lives. The philosophical method encourages us to engage in deep critical thinking, fostering our intellectual growth. While philosophy may not always provide clear answers, 
it equips us with the tools to ask better questions. And in the end, isn't that what philosophy is all about? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.